as I get my day started get my day started faster because I'm not on Instagram scrolling for hours. I literally just said that, but whatever, it's important. Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm gonna to be filming a video on why I deleted my Instagram and my mental health without Instagram because everyone's like, why did you delete your Instagram? So at the end of the video, I'm gonna get into the reasons like how I am right now without it and everything. But right now I'm just gonna go through the steps on why I deleted my Instagram. So the first reason why I deleted it was because it was literally a terrible addiction. I mean, you know that from hanging out with people and them always being on their phones and they're usually scrolling through Instagram or Twitter or any social media. I just wanted to get away from that. I wanted to be more open to the world and not so much my phone. I didn't delete Instagram right away. I didn't even delete the app. I had it on my phone and I just wanted to see like how I was without it. So I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna go on Instagram. And I would literally be on my phone like texting and then like five seconds later, my thumb would literally click on Instagram and it would open up and I'd be like, I'm not supposed to be on this and I would get off really quick. So it was literally like an addiction. Then I decided to delete the app and not my account and I just wanted to see how I was gonna be without it. Like I noticed changes that were better for me physically and mentally so I decided to delete my whole account and I had two accounts. I had my regular account and then I had my fitness account so I deleted both of those accounts and I feel a lot better. Number two is I was constantly looking at perfect lives being portrayed and I know like especially girls like understand what I'm talking about when you go on Instagram and you follow these like Instagram models or any models and they're just always on the beach and they're always having their like green smoothies because behind the scenes totally that's probably not their lives. Everyone goes through something and everyone has stress in their lives. It's not always like peaches and rainbows all the time and it's not always like I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. and do my Pilates and I'm gonna drink my smoothie and everything's gonna be perfect and there's no stress in my life and I'm just gonna make money through Instagram you know perfect it's like it's not always like that and I'm sure they go through things with themselves and I'm sure they have their insecurities and their flaws they just don't show it for us when we constantly like feel that our lives are stressful and everything and then we go on Instagram and look at these perfect lives no wonder we're gonna feel bad about ourselves because we're like why why don't I have a perfect life like them it's hard to remind ourselves that that's not the re their real lives just it's not healthy for us to look at these perfect images all the time and perfect lives being portrayed and then us feeling bad about ourselves so just know that that's not real it's okay that you're going through stressful things in your lives and you're not always happy and you have insecurities that's totally normal it's them that's changing it all up and making it seem like they have perfect lives because they don't open up to us and tell us their real struggles number three is looking at photoshop images or girls who just pose with good angles and lighting i'm sorry i'm right i have all these down on my phone and i just I just write all the steps and stuff but I'm sure especially girls mate and guys even they just I don't think they project it as much as girls do on how they feel when they look at like guys with Photoshop abs or models and such like that but I know girls feel this way because I talk about it with my friends and stuff but Photoshop images and girls who pose with good lighting is so bad for like our body image and our insecurities because they're literally taking themselves and just making themselves look as how we're supposed to look in society. We look at those images again, just as when I said in The Perfect Lives, and we think that we're supposed to look like that. Perfect airbrush, no cellulite, no stretch marks, nothing. And we look at those images and wonder why we don't look like that and we're not perfect. I have these stretch marks, I have this cellulite, so I'm never going to be perfect and I'm never, never going to look like her. Let's think about why they're photoshopping their images. Is it because 
probably they have insecurities that they don't want to show the world so they photoshop it that's why they're photoshopping their images they don't think they're perfect so they're photoshopping their images to make you think that they are perfect i pray for them and everything and i hope that they get over that whole photoshopping thing and just show who they really are and embrace who they are which you should be doing that's just totally wrong and it's totally it's fine for people who know that it's photoshop but for people that don't know it's photoshop it's super hard for them because they think that's achievable they think that they can go to the gym and eat their diet and look like that which is not right and no wonder we feel bad again because we're going to be going through these things like working out and eating their diets and not look like that and we're gonna wonder why we don't look like that and we're not perfect and we're never going to be perfect and we're never gonna be pretty, you know? You should stop filling your brain with these images, these fake images, and stop thinking that you're not beautiful because you don't look like a photoshopped image. Like, might as well look like a, like a, I don't know, a Barbie doll. And it's literally like, we're never going to look like that and it's okay to look like yourself. Even for girls who pose with good lighting, they don't, or good angles, they don't always look like that. I could literally take a picture right now and make it look like I have a six pack and no waist and whatever just because like all the posing that I'm doing and all the lighting that's on me. But if I go to the beach and I have the sun coming down on me, I'm obviously gonna have cellulite. If you eat something, you're gonna get bloated, you know? These people are portraying things that they don't really look like and it's okay to be yourself and it's okay to know that the way that they're portraying themselves are fake. Number four is I couldn't get away because of the explore page. So some people will just say unfollow the Instagram accounts that make you feel bad about yourself, which is great advice. I did that for a while. I unfollowed like all the models that made me feel bad, but I couldn't get away from the explore page because they Instagram like knows what you look at and it's okay that you unfollow those people but then you're gonna go on the explore page and find more people like that and more models that make you feel bad about yourself so I literally just couldn't get away like I would follow like dogs and everything and I would look at um I don't know what I would look at anything like quotes that make me feel happy and then I would go on the explore page and still see these models these photoshop images and then my brain would just be filled again and i would end up following them like i don't know why like i do this but then i'd end up following them and be like oh my gosh they're so pretty and then i would constantly compare myself so i just i tried to get away and i just i had to delete it and i'm just so much happier now <laughs> number five is seeing things that you don't want to see even not even models or famous people but even like ex-boyfriends or ex-friends and stuff like that and they're constantly like, posting things about themselves or with like other girlfriends or whatever and you just don't want to see that and you can unfollow them but I'm sure they'll just like pop up somewhere and it's just you're constantly seeing things that you don't want to see and you're like constantly like looking them up or like looking at how they're doing and it's just totally not healthy for your brain to do that just let people go and like know that you're going to be filled with new people eventually and it's just so toxic to look at those things number six is the captions of fitness models was hard because it was always about diets and hitting goals you're constantly looking at what they post in their captions about how their diet's going and how much weight they lost and their detox juice or whatever which is like i'm not bashing this at all because like i did this in my fitness account i would update people on how i was doing but it was mostly like my negative captions and how i was like how I was feeling and like I'm not perfect and I don't feel good but this is how I'm doing that was more of like my captions but I'm talking about the fitness models who are doing like this whole like cleanse and they end up not eating for three days and just drinking juice and stuff and then they're like oh I lost 30 pounds from drinking juice all day like yeah of course you're gonna lose 30 pounds or whatever in like a week if you're not eating like it's not healthy. But I would just be like filling my brain with that again and just thinking like, oh, maybe if I do that, then I can hit my goals. And it's just not a healthy way to live. And I just knew that it wasn't not a healthy way to live. So I just wanted to remove myself from all those captions. Seven 
my fitness account was hard because I felt a constant pressure to be perfect. I felt a constant pressure from comparing myself to other people that were doing fitness on Instagram. Just the airbrushed images and the girls who were like constantly like all done up at the gym posting videos and always hitting their like new PRs and stuff and I just felt like my progress wasn't progressing as fast as they were. And now I'm gonna be talking about how I'm doing now without Instagram. If you think that you can't delete Instagram because your life's gonna totally fall apart and you're not gonna be in the loop of things anymore is wrong. First thing that I don't do anymore is I don't always take pictures of myself. I would always post on Instagram like every day and I would constantly be looking in the mirror and taking my pictures. It to it wasn't good for me. Like it wasn't good for me to constantly look at myself and take pictures and then think, oh, that's not a good enough picture or, oh my gosh, I look I look fat right now so I, I can't post that picture. I would just constantly be nitpicking myself and taking pictures over and over again and I don't do that anymore. I feel better about myself since I'm not looking at other girls all day. So I'm not looking at models to compare myself with. So all I'm comparing myself with is myself. So I'm just making myself my competition. I have more time to do other things like work out more, pray more, meditate more. So I have more time to focus on myself and wake up in the morning, make my bed, not scroll on Instagram all day, get up, get my coffee, work out right away go to work, do my thing, make dinner, you know, like I just have more time to do things that actually matter than to scroll on Instagram all day long. And when school starts too, like I'll have more time to do my homework and not just constantly be sitting on the couch looking at an Instagram. It's just a total waste of time and there's nothing good that comes from Instagram for me personally. As I get my day started, get my day started faster because I'm not on Instagram scrolling for hours. I literally just said that, but whatever it's important it's just a big waste of time i would just procrastinate a lot on instagram yeah so th those were my reasons why i deleted instagram and how i'm doing now without instagram i think you should try it i think you should challenge yourself this was a challenge i thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was and it wasn't hard at all for me at least delete the app for a little bit and you'll still have your account to bounce back on if you want to go back on like and subscribe and tell me what you think comment below and i want to hear your thoughts about this video like i want to hear if you totally disagree with me or agree with me a lot i'm really curious to see 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 what you say and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video